All right. I told you we were gonna do this. We are gonna go over the best pet tortoise right here, right now. I'm gonna show you all the reasons why, starting with this one. It's spring, and I'm welcoming these tortoises to 2023 right now. Why? Because they've been outside the entire winter. So if they've been outside the entire winter, what do you think they're doing the rest of the year? They're always outside. These are Herman's tortoises, and in my opinion, they are the absolute best pet tortoise you could possibly get your hands on, and that's coming from someone that for more than 30 years has kept just about every single tortoise species you can legally keep. Right now, they're all dusty and dirty because they just spent the winter in that cold frame. It's time to let them out and let them start exploring their pen for spring, but first, let's give them a little bath so you can see how amazingly beautiful they really are. How's that for absolutely gorgeous? Black and yellow, like a bunch of bumblebees sitting in front of me right here. And black and yellow are the telltale colors that are associated with particularly the Western Herman's tortoise, which is what you're looking at right here, but also other Herman's tortoises, the Eastern and the Dalmatian. We'll do another video where we go into all the differences between those three, but right now, the topic here is why are these animals the absolute best pet for tortoises? Now, to go back to why these tortoises are in this situation right now, I'm doing this for the sake of the video so you guys can really get a good look at them. As I said, they just woke up for spring. Usually what we do is simply let them out of their greenhouses and they'll start exploring their pens again for the season and the rain that naturally falls will clean them off. But this gives you a nice close look at just how incredible these animals look. And these aren't morphs, this is what they really look like. So what are some of the reasons that makes the Western Hermans the best pet tortoise? Let's start with its looks. It is absolutely beautiful. No doubt about it, some of them are more gold than others, some of them can even be solid black, but nonetheless, they are highly contrasted animals with some of the most intricate markings. And again, that's coming from somebody that still to this day keeps many different species of turtle and tortoise, and I've yet to find something that really rivals this black and yellow. Let's also take a look at the size. These animals are small. In fact, this is an adult egg-laying female right here, and she's only slightly bigger than your average adult female Egyptian tortoise. So the Western Hermit's tortoise overall is very small. Yet Yes, there are specifics when it comes to the different localities, but usually you're looking at about four and a half to five inches tops for a male and five to six inches tops for a female, with most of them being much smaller than that. Western Herman's tortoises are usually much easier to care for than a wide variety of other tortoise species. So something like a sulcata tortoise really needs a yard or at least half a yard. A Western Herman's tortoise needs a much smaller space. We're able to keep our tortoises outdoors here year round and they accept a wide variety of temperatures and conditions. So that means if you have high humidity because you live in a place like Florida, they can handle it. If you live in Arizona where it's really dry, they can handle it. Or if you live in New Jersey and you have all four seasons, the tortoises do well in that as well. Remember, this is a European species. Even the Hermann's tortoises in general are found throughout Europe. The Western subspecies occurs in Italy, France, and Spain, along with some islands. For the most part, they are experiencing all four seasons. Sometimes they're harsher than they are in other locations, but these animals are so adapted to accept such a wide variety of conditions, it makes keeping them so easy. So up here in New Jersey, for about 13 years now, we have been keeping them exclusively outdoors and you are witnessing us bring them into the new season as they wake up inside these greenhouses and get ready to start going about the season. So look around me. You are in our Western Hermans tortoise pens. They're not very large and they actually house several animals per pen. Now the pens are divided up so that we can keep different groups per pen instead of combining them all together because keeping everything in one pen is of course not a good idea regardless of the size of the animal. But take our relatives for example. Our family over in Italy houses them right in their garden. As long as it's secure Cure, they are safe, and of course, predator protection is important as well. We'll do a whole video on that. But basically, these animals are able to naturalistically go about their lives right here at Garden State Tortoise 
with very little intervention from us. In the fall, once they've really cooled down, we barricade them to their greenhouses so they're safe from getting exposed to anything at the wrong times. And then in the spring, like right now, we let them out and the season starts and next comes breeding, egg laying, and a whole lot of fun for the next six to seven months, possibly even eight months before they start to descend underground again. Western Hermans tortoises make outdoor keeping easier than it is for many other tortoise species. To compare them again to sulcata tortoises, but also even Russian tortoises, these animals don't dig the way those species do. A sulcata or Russian can dig out of its pen very easily, even if you go very deep. For a Western Hermans tortoise, we typically only go about four to six inches deep in the ground when it comes to the perimeter of the pen, because they don't even try to dig out, especially if you're keeping them appropriately and you're providing a lot of enrichment within the pen. So if these Western Hermans tortoises are able to to live 24-7, 365 days a year outside, what does that mean for those of you that want to keep them indoors? Come with me. Although we opt to keep these tortoises outdoors from pretty much hatching all the way through life 365 days a year, they can be kept indoors and people have had much success doing so throughout the years in herpetoculture. But you are gonna wanna put a little bit of thought into the enclosure. We highly recommend our friends over at Toad Ranch. You can go to their website. We'll put a link in the description for that. They sell the absolute best enclosures on the market for a wide variety of reptiles and they definitely can put something amazing together for you if you are keeping a Western Herman's tortoise indoors. You are gonna to wanna to give them something at least six feet long, but these animals can handle just about anything. And even if you keep them mostly indoors, you can bring them outside for playtime, if you will, like people like to call it. You can pick up a puppy gate and let the animals graze as long as you're supervising them. Or you can have a pen outside for some times and you can have an indoor enclosure for other times. People do all kinds of methods when it comes to keeping Herman's tortoises. And because the Western Herman's tortoise is so darn small, it really makes life easy. The habitat requirements inside the enclosure are not all that insane either. They need a decent substrate of primarily topsoil and a sand mix. Yes, again, I'll say it, sand is safe and these animals occur on it in nature. And you're gonna to wanna to make sure that it stays pretty deep, somewhere about six inches is good so that they can burrow into it. They are going to need UVB lighting and of course a basking light if they're staying indoors most of the time. But if they go outside and they're spending at least half the year under the natural sun, then you don't even need UVB inside at all for them. Drinking water is important. These animals do need to stay well hydrated at all times, but that's really for anything across the board, nothing different there. And they actually have a pretty simple diet. These animals are supposed to be eating weeds, flowers, dark leafy greens, and of course you can give them commercial diet like Missouri tortoise diet occasionally. This one right here is actually chewing on me right now. <laughs> Look at him biting my arm. <laughs> Don't worry, that doesn't hurt. You are hungry though, aren't you? Well, since they're so hungry, let's talk about their personality and their feeding response. There you go, little one. Well, here you go. Need I say much more about their personality? This animal has no fear whatsoever, and it's just a baby. This is a year and a half old baby Western Hermit's tortoise that was hatched right here. And the reason I have him on the table is so that I could show you He's already almost halfway to where he needs to be as far as being full grown goes. This right here is an adult male. Western Herman's tortoises quickly associate us as a food source and they will literally try to run to you at the sight of you once they get used to you. And you can see this animal right here is on a table. It's not even in its comfortable environment and it has absolutely no problem eating right out of my hands. And it looks like you want some too there, don't you buddy? So there you go, insanely personable. Just because they're small, don't think these animals aren't robust, they absolutely are. They're little tanks in a compact body and shell, and well, they really take well to us. They just have no fear, that's the best way to put it. Western hermit's tortoises also do well in groups, and in fact, that's how they occur in nature. They don't occur alone. They do benefit from a mental enrichment of being around their own kind. So in all of these years, and I've been keeping Western hermit's tortoises since I was nine years old to date myself, I have never kept them singly. The only time that happens is if I have a health issue and somebody needs to be isolated, or if there's a baby that's just not catching up to the other ones in its clutch. But other than that, these animals always live together, and that means that males get to live together too. Do 
they fight sometimes? Absolutely. And that's because male combat is healthy and it helps reinvigorate the males because breeding these animals is very important. The Western Hermit's tortoise is endangered. That shouldn't deter you from keeping them. They are perfectly legal in the United States of America, but this animal is disappearing throughout much of its range and the IUCN has red listed them as endangered. In fact, they're one of the most endangered reptiles of Western Europe. So not unlike the Egyptian tortoise, which is another testudo, these animals are in trouble out there and they are in need of the right people working with them. But as far as housing them in groups, do it. It's better for them if you can give them the space. And that's also where outdoor keeping for them comes really in handy because it's a lot easier to maintain a colony in an outdoor enclosure where they can experience all the seasons and conditions together than indoors. But as I said, indoor keeping is absolutely possible. And you will hear story after story about full success of people having these animals for many, many, many decades. Western Hermit's tortoises can live to be 100 years or more. Without a doubt, I can say with the utmost confidence that the Western Hermit's tortoise truly is the best pet tortoise. And one more time, I'm gonna say it, that's coming from a guy that keeps them all and will continue to keep all the different species. I've just learned the ropes throughout the years about what really makes an animal like this the best choice. And like I said earlier, they do need our help. They should be worked with and kept and even bred responsibly because there's not that many of them out there. Western Herman's tortoises are a stunningly beautiful species. The contrast with the black and the yellow is truly unmatched. And I promise you, if you get the opportunity to work with one of these animals, you will thoroughly enjoy it. We have so many different videos that can show you how to properly raise these tortoises and many other species that are similar to them or even much different. So I would highly suggest searching around our channel to find those videos and we will continue to make more. We're also gonna do a very, very in-depth video about the differences in the localities of Western Hermit's tortoises because whether they come from Italy, France, or Spain, they're not all exactly the same. We'll save that for then, but for now, if you want to learn more about the beautiful Western Hermit's tortoise, check out this video right here.